While watching Ken Burns' new series on country music, we started looking through the American Archive of Public Broadcasting to learn more about the artists featured in the documentary. Luckily for us, Nashville Public Television's show A Word on Words with John Siegenthaler features an interview with author Barry Mazur and his biography of country music legend Jimmy Rogers. Welcome to WGBH's The Rewind, where each week we explore the public media archives where history is preserved, online and in the vault. This week, we've got a clip featuring a country music legend. So we want to know, who is your favorite country music artist? Mine has to be Johnny Cash. Let us know your answer in the comments below or with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. In this clip, Barry Mazur talks about Jimmy Rogers' life story and his influence on the genre. Let's take a look. Hello, I'm John Siegenthaler. Welcome once again to A Word on Words. My guest today is author and music journalist Barry Mazur. His new book, Meeting Jimmy Rogers, is a captivating look at one of music's true pioneers. So nice to have you to World of Words. It's oh, it's great to be here. Thank you so much for coming in, and thank you for the book on Jimmy Rogers. It's been so long since anybody has taken a really serious uh, and in-depth look at the life of the man who indeed is the father of, of the music of the country. Yeah. And the, the thing I... Um, that comes out of me after I finish the book is how his very brief life had such a great and lasting impact on so many performers. Yeah, I, I, I looked at that very fact. I mean, all of those records, all of those songs, and they're all in print, and somebody's recording them somewhere today and, you know, influenced by the style of the man somewhere today. It all happened in such a short time, and that was almost... That was almost the powering point of the book to me, John. It was, it was like, how could that be? But the reach is from Gene Autry to Bob Dylan. Yeah. Talk that's about right. that. That's right. That, that's, the, that's the kind of a journey that doing the book took me on. And, I, and, and, you know, and I've interviewed over 80 musicians, performers who get to speak here. I let them do a lot of the talking in the course of this. But that's where you had to go. It became evident to me really early if I was going to follow the life story of the music, which was kind of the concept here. In his own time, it was always already spurring Hollywood cowboy uh, music. I mean, he did that kind of thing. Um, it started a, a craze of his blue yodels, which was basically vaudeville blues singing with some yodels tossed in, and they were imitators of that. Um, he performed on stages singing personal songs about his own life with a guitar, which is kind of the genesis of the singer-songwriter telling you that kind of story song. You won't find one before that. You know, <laughs> he suffers from tuberculosis, and his, he writes about it. Yeah, he laid it out there, and, and, and that was a kind of an admission at the time. It wasn't something a middle-class person was, uh, you know, likely to talk about, and people were affl afflicted from every part of society. Oh, and there so, is, there was, as I recall, almost a sense of stigma. I wanted, in, in writing this book, to bring Jimmy Rogers back whole and alive to people. In a way, doing all this history is to get all the, the kind of waxy yellow buildup of history out of the way, so maybe we can hear him directly. And this isn't the only country music clip we have in the archives. If you head to WGBH.org or click the link in the description, you can find a timeline of public media coverage of country music, specially curated to tie in with Ken Burns' series. And if you found this week's episode interesting, you can head into the vault at openvault.wgbh.org. As always, let us know what you find in the comments or with the hashtag WGBH Rewind. Thanks again for unwinding with the Rewind, and we'll see you next week in the archives.